Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another 2K video. Not an episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory, I was about to say that. There has been an episode already dropped today, so if you missed that, be sure to go ahead and check it out. This is the second video of the day, there will be a third, which will be another episode of the Road to Glory. So, triple upload yesterday, triple upload today. You guys have been killing sports, so I'm going to keep on bringing the video. So, yesterday we did our first gameplay, which was on the new Diamond Ilgorskis. I didn't really like him, not going to lie, uh, didn't really impress me, but today we are going to be coming in with a gameplay on Pink Diamond John Wall, and I've got much higher hopes of him than I have of that Ilgorska. So, we're going to go through his stats, through his badges, compare him to a couple of similar players who are of a similar price, and then we're going to jump into My Team Unlimited, and I'm currently 5-0, so I do actually really want to win this game. If we don't win it, I guess it's not the end of the world, but I would much rather get myself 6-0, which is halfway to that James Worthy. So, fingers crossed we can get the W today. So, let's have a look at John Wall. First of all, on the auction house, this is on PS4, and it is uh, it's 10 a.m. in the morning on Saturday. So, prices will probably vary quite significantly uh, to when you are watching this video. But, I managed to buy mine for 45,000 MT, and you can actually see me buying it in the first video of the day. So, we come down here, and at the moment, he is selling for... Wow, okay, so I got a really good price getting in for 45k. That is fantastic. So he looks like he's around 50k. There's a lot of him up for the 50,000 MT mark. So for 50k, let's take a look and um, compare him to someone who's very, very similar in price. And that is the pink diamond Russell Westbrook, who sells for... That one's got a diamond contract, to be fair, so that's probably a little bit more expensive. I mean, you're going to be looking at maybe 55 to 60k for this Westbrook. So very similar in prices. So let's go ahead and compare them. So Westbrook comes in, obviously 98 rated. John Wall, 98 rated as well. 6 for 4 against 6 foot 3. John Wall has 26 Hall of Fame badges and 27 gold. Westbrook has 24 Hall of Fame and 28 gold. John Wall comes in with Hall of Fame, Floor General, Catch and Shoot. He has got uh, anything else good here? <laughs> Ankle Breaker, Quick First Step, uh, Pick Dodger. He's got Clamps, which is very nice. The thing is, he doesn't really have many shooting badges. If we look over to Westbrook, he has got, obviously, like Contact Finisher, Giant Slayer. He's got Dimer. Um, obviously, he's got range extender as well. So, badges-wise, I think we're going to have to give this one to Russell Westbrook. Uh, John Wall does have all those badges I've just mentioned on gold. He's got defensive leader, dimer, handles for days. He's got dead eye. He does have range extender on gold. There it is. And then in terms of the stats, very, very similar. So, 98 driving layup uh, for John Wall. 95 mid, 93 three ball, 98 on the driving dunk, 93 passing uh, in terms of the ball control. 95 steel, 93 perimeter D, no real rebounding, but 99 speed, 99 speed ball, it is incredible. So you can see there, the comparisons between Russ and him are very, very similar. Russ has the rebounding, to be fair, which is quite a big thing. Russ does grab quite a lot of rebounds for me, and I believe he does even have gold rebound chaser. I'm fairly sure that he has that badge somewhere. He might even have it Hall of Fame, though. He does have it on the gold. Uh, but yeah, so defensively, very, very similar. John Wall's got a bit of a better block and a bit of a better steal. Passing, very, very similar. Uh, dunking, John Wall has a 40 instead of a 30 sand dunk, which is completely irrelevant. Uh, Post-game goes to Russ a little bit, but post game pretty irrelevant. Other than that, they are pretty much carbon copies of each other. So we're going to take out Brom. We're going to put in John Wall just so that then we can have John Wall and Westbrook in this game. Very, very similar types of point guard. Obviously, Bron is significantly different uh, in the type of player he is. Now, I am running with Amethyst Mike D'Antoni. So, he will be getting a speed boost, three-point boost, ball control boost, passing, driving lap, and mid-range boost to him, which are all very nice indeed. So, we'll take him to the freestyle. We'll have a look and see if he becomes a Galaxy Opal, because a couple of my players actually become Galaxy Opals after the coach boost. I think PG goes up to 99 rated, and I think there's a couple of other players that do as well that I can't remember off the top of my head. So let's see what it does to John Wall right here. So down to the subsection and John Wall does become a 99 rated card. Westbrook becomes a Galaxy Opal. Paul George becomes a Galaxy Opal. Hakeem goes 98. T-Mac goes 98. Lamar Odom becomes a Pink Diamond. That is insane. Um, so now he has a 99 mid-range, 97 three-pointer. Driving layout gets maxed at 99. Driving dunk is a 98. Ball control is 97, passing IQ is now 99, and then the speed was already 99, couldn't get any higher. So he comes in with hot zones everywhere, apart from one inside the uh, key and one outside the three. 
Obviously, he is going to feel ridiculously fast. I have played one game in the first video of the day. We jumped into a game of Triple Threat online with him. He felt all right. He caught a couple of green lights, but obviously, that was my first game with him, so my releases weren't going to be great. And I think even from yesterday's gameplay with Ilgorskus, I was barely catching any green lights in here in the uh, shoot round, but as soon as we got into game, I was actually catching a fair few more green lights than I was in here. So I think my, uh, my hand or my brain is just used to the delay online and uh, getting releases down online that is a little bit deep isn't it um so yeah the delay the latency it makes a massive difference but we are still getting a couple of green lights out here and his release does feel really really nice so john wall against westbrook we're going to see today who i would recommend out of the two like i said very similar cards very similar prices uh, it's just going to be down to personal preference and animations as well because Russ has some pretty nice animations. John Wall, I don't think, has the best crossover from using it earlier. And I don't think he has the most explosive behind the back either. But we'll see how he runs in Unlimited. Of course, Triple Threat Online is vastly different to the streets of Unlimited. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. So the squad, MJ, John Wall, T-Mac, Giannis. And then off the bench, we've got Westbrook, Brandon Roy, Paul George, Lamar Odom, and Big Shaq down there. So, let's see who we're going to get matched up against. Hopefully it's not a super try hard. The game yesterday with Ilgorskis went down to the last couple of minutes of the fourth quarter. That was a tough one. Hopefully it's a little bit easier today. All right, opponent has been found. I don't want to see five Galaxy Opals sitting here waiting for me. What are we going to see? I see a glitched. I see a ridiculously good team. Glitched JR. Galaxy Opal MJ, so they're going to cancel each other out. Pink Diamond Kawhi. Galaxy Opal KD. And then Pink Diamond Timmy D. That is a very, very strong squad right there. Uh, and off the bench, he has got Ray Allen, Galaxy Opal. He's got the team at Giannis, Derek Rose, and the Marcus Aldridge. That is a very nice squad. Okay, so this isn't going to be easy. But John Wall, let's see what you can do. Hopefully, you can lead us to a W. If you can't, Westbrook will be coming in to try and get us over the line and get us the W in this one. Because like I said, I don't want to waste those five games that I've already won. Uh, obviously, one of them was with Ilgorskis. And then hopefully, John Wall can get this one. All right, so we win the tip. And uh, we are going to come down here. And set in our offensive settings. No, we're not. We're going to go straight inside to Hakeem for the first bucket of the game. There we go. John Wall with his first assist. And that was as probably, uh, probably as easy as it is going to get throughout this one. All right. MJ on MJ. This guy has gone for a uh, four-out one in offense. Obviously, everyone does. We've got jumping in the air. But we've recovered pretty well, actually, with Hakeem. We've got very lucky right there. We'll go over to John Wall. Now, I'm not going to feed him too much in this one. We're going to go outside to Giannis. It's a full white. And that is going to be a drop-in. For the first three-pointer of the game. Not bad start to this one at all. Quick 5-0 no run. Now, it does feel pretty delayed. So, I think I'm going to have to go and check if anything is being downloaded in the house. Because uh, my internet is not capable enough of uh, coping with anyone doing anything other than me playing this game. What is this guy doing? Is he running plays? I think he is. Uh, let's just try and make sure we are getting players absolutely everywhere. Uh, and we're now down to the last couple of seconds of the shot clock. That is some great defense. And we are off out on the races with John Wall. We're going to go over to T-Mac. Wow, okay, that was not what I had planned at all. Back out to Tracy McGrady in the corner. Green light on the three ball. Very nice indeed. Probably should have thrown an alley-oop with uh, John Wall, to be fair. That probably would have been the better and smarter play. He's going to come around with MJ. Baseline cheese is real. Um, but we know what he's going to do now, so we can uh, definitely try and uh, contain that. We'll send Giannis back door. He doesn't actually get a good connection right there. This guy is doing a mix of on-ball and off-ball. So we'll try and get him lost in this screen from Giannis. Didn't work at all. Uh, and we will make sure we've got our offensive settings in. So we're going to crash the boards and we are going to push the pace right there as well. So we're coming down to the last couple of seconds of the shot clock. Outside to Giannis for three. Green light. That is some patient play right there. Giannis spotting up at the perfect location. And we are three of three on three pointers. And we are all over that. And uh, Hakeem brings that one down over to John Wall. And uh, what we're going to do here. Looks like we're being double teamed. So there should be someone open. It's Tracy McGrady. So full white. And we're not going to get that one to go. Unsurprisingly, we've hit three of three. So a uh, chance of getting another one to go are slim. And this guy green lights with JR. That glitch JR with, uh, of course, Hall of Fame range extender. So, all right. So John Wall just came down and hit a layup. Got his first bucket of the game let's see uh, how this guy is going to keep on playing us he is going to leave us open with Hakeem we'll kick it out to him and there's another green light all right so the green lights are flying John Wall is just assisting on everyone at the moment three assists already the trail cheese is real now I know that's been a problem lately so uh, it's a good job that I know that guy is now going to do that we'll take the mid-range with John Wall and we're going to catch another green light see what I mean guys my body and my hands are just accustomed to the delay and latency 
in this game. I don't shoot well in the shoot around. John Wall with the steal out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, should we take the three? Oh, we probably should have done, but I am. Um, I got a little bit scared there, and uh, I definitely did try and pass out of that one. Hakeem takes the ill-advised shot right there. Let's make sure he doesn't get the three. It's moving three from Kawhi Leonard, and he's going to drop that one in. So this guy is liking his three-pointers very early on in this one. Hakeem, actually set me a screen, will you? Uh, he sets the screen, and we are going to go right to the rim with John Wall, and we push T-Mac out of the way like he isn't even there. Six points. Three assists already, uh, and Derek Rose runs straight past us. We really need to get back, because this guy is just doing like a five-second offense or whatever. So really need to make sure we are in positions uh, to actually get some stops. Giannis, 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 Giannis. Giannis, what are you doing? He just went into the backcourt to set a screen, guys. Did you see that? Alley-oop time, up to Giannis. Galaxy Shuffle KD was underneath us. So fair enough, we can expect to brick that one right there. All right, end of the first, we're up by seven. John Wall doing bits on the offensive end. And he got that steal on the defensive end as well, which is really good. This guy is obviously half decent. He is uh, just jacking up the threes. So as long as we stop that, we should be all right. I'll keep the starters in for a little bit longer. Uh, and then we'll get them out and get John Wall a little bit of a break. He's actually got Alex Caruso in at the point guard position now. Brian Scalabrini. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's an emerald card. Isn't that his best card this year? I think it might be. Um, and he's now got uh, Giannis at the small forward position, which is a little bit of a problem when we have got uh, Tracy McGrady down there. We get some really good contests on that, contests from pretty much everyone. And we've got John Wall streaking away right here. Can he go past Opal Ray Allen? He can, but he can't get it to go. But we kick it back out to him for three. It's a full white, and he is flashing on the stamina. So we can understand that one missing right there. So we'll let him get his stamina back a little bit. We'll call for a screen from Hakeem, who now is on fire. And we get him wide open for the moving mid, and he is going to brick that. Okay, so maybe we need to get him out and get him a little bit of a breather in this one. We get our hands up, but we don't get rewarded for it. Damn it. Okay, so he's 3 of 9 at the moment. Not great, not going to lie. Um, and I haven't really been forcing it too much. We've been taking kind of open, or basically open shots. If we can get a switch onto that Amethyst, uh, not Amethyst, sorry, the Emerald Scalabrini, it is over. Uh, we can easily, easily burn by him. We're going to go for the alley-oop right here. Not a good decision. Okay, so John Wall needs to come out of the game. All right, so bench unit is in. So um, well, I've just done that because I usually press triangle on um, triple threat offline. Uh, online, sorry. That is just me being all over the place. T-Mac. T-Mac? Westbrook with his first three of the game. And he's going to drop that one in for three. I think I do prefer Westbrook's release. It's a little bit quicker. I'm fairly sure it is. Anyway, let's just make sure we are up on that trail cheese again. From Ray Allen this time. Again, I'm trying my best uh, to pull my players into position. But uh, for some reason, they just don't want to guard them. I'm going to dance inside here with Russell Westbrook. We give it to Shaq, who can't finish inside. But he bullies his way to get that rebound. Westbrook from deep. Full white. I think that's a full white glitch. So that one is not going to go. But look at Shaq. He is so big. You cannot stop the big diesel. Uh, and again, I don't want to force it with Westbrook. We'll just take the shots that we can when they're open. And that is an open layup for Paul George. So... Going to try and get a bit of a lead going in this one, and then we can bring back John Wall in uh, and hopefully just have some fun with him for the remainder of the fourth quarter into the end of the game. He just hit a very late release with KD. How is that? How is that a thing? How is that even possible? Now, I'm not gonna lie, the game is really, really laggy for me at the moment. I'm trying my best to keep the lead going, but um, it is an absolute struggle, and I don't know why because there's nothing going on on my internet. So I don't know if this is the servers being bad. I know a couple of people have said about the servers being bad, but I can't even defend. I can't even get my players into the right position. Okay, I think we've got our best chance of defending down in the paint, playing that, and we just get scored on straight away uh, with uh, Shaq like he isn't even there. So that absolutely sucks. Why is he left wide open? J.R. Smith, tra trail cheese is just so frustrating this year. Oh my God, what is this? Westbrook for three at the end of the first half. Not going to hit that. Up by three, but... Um, not too confident about this one. We have got John Wall going back into the game. His release, again, like I said, it's a little bit slower compared to Westbrook. Um, so we'll keep with this same team, but we will bring back in Hakeem because I feel like that Shaq is just getting back down like anything. Um, now, I do, if I show you my defensive settings, I think I showed you me doing them earlier on in the game. Uh, they're all on, I mean, look at that. I just can't stay with anyone. They're all on stay tight, uh, go over on screens, no help on the defensive end. Look at Lamar Odom go with the steal. We're going to go inside to Hakeem. Back out. We should have people open. We do. It's Paul George, but he's noticed that. But we have got the step on Kawhi, and Paul George goes straight in for the slam. So, John Wall comes in. Six points, three assists. Let's see what we can do by the end of the game.
So as you can see, John Wall's crossover, it is pretty good, but I definitely think it could be better. But he just brushes through uh, Tim Duncan right there. It's not the most explosive crossover, that's for sure. I definitely think, uh, like I said, other people out there do have better ones. I think Russ's is better. Can we just get back on the defensive end? No, we can't. This guy's just rim running and he just can't stop it. It is so annoying. I know I'm kind of doing a similar thing, but not quite to the same extent that this guy's doing it. We get the screen there from Hakeem. Lobbing this one up to Hakeem. Tell me how that's just happened. Tell me how that's just happened. That makes no sense at all, 2K. Hakeem is wide open. It's coming from John Wall. Pink Diamond, 98 rated. And he's not got that one to go. But we do get the stop there. We do get the rebound. We're going to go out to Paul George right here. We're going to find someone hopefully open. John Wall is going to go, oh, that's not good. It's not good. But he was open and I didn't manage to find him in time. Now, this JR does actually have Hall of Fame clamps. So it's not going to be easy to break him down. <sighs> Why is everyone just standing in the same place that allows him to get that steal? I don't know. Oh, my God. We just cannot get a rebound. We genuinely cannot get... A rebound out here. This guy's got like three defensive rebounds. So I'm trying to control, control Hakeem down in the paint just to make sure he's in a semi-decent position to even try and get a board. Uh, the shot clock, he goes ahead and gets that to go. Oh my god, this game sometimes kills me. Oh, okay, that could have been a steal there. That would have been a very, very bad play. We're going to drive inside here with John Wall. We had the step on him, and thankfully, they call that for goaltending. Wow, that's very lucky. Uh, that would not have been a good play. Uh, so we need to get Paul George out. We need to get Tracy McGrady in. Uh, and then we can use Giannis on Giannis, and that's fine. If he wants to take a three with Giannis, I'll probably give it to him. If he wants to take a mid-range again, probably will give it to him. Um, but he wants to come down to the paint. Again, that's fine. This guy's doing some post-cheese. I don't know what it is where you can, like, speed boost holding L2. As you can see, demonstrated right here. Hold that pause, my guy, because that cheese is not going to work around here. Sucks to suck. We've got John Wall trailing for three. It's not for three. It's a mid-range, and he's going to hit that one. He's going to knock it down. Good lad, John Wall. Not quite a green, um, but doesn't matter too much. He is going to try and get another trailing cheese, and we are not going to let that one happen. We have jumped, but thankfully, his player positioning is horrendous. Uh, and like I said, I'm not too fast. Okay, that is fantastic defense. That is fantastic. We're going to go over to Michael Jordan, who is going to slow this one down. So we didn't really have anyone open. Oh, now we did. We had John Wall. John Wall inside with the and one over Alex Caruso. Get dunked on. He has got Hall of Fame clamps and I believe Hall of Fame Intimidator as well. So to dunk over him is saying quite a lot. So he is a little bit tired, but we'll keep him in for the time being. Again, this guy's going for that trail cheese. We're not going to let that happen right there. We've read that one like a book. Haven't quite been rewarded. Uh, read that one like a book, and we have been rewarded. There we go. We're going to go over to Giannis. Back to, uh, oh, I was going to say back to John Wall. He wasn't quite open, but we do have someone wide open in the corner. Not quite anymore. This guy's literally hitting half bars on free throws. And they are still going in. Like, what is that? I have no idea what is happening out here. We probably could have taken that one with Hakeem, but I'm a little bit hesitant on his release because it is pretty damn slow. And obviously, yesterday I was using Big Z. He's going to have to sag off us right here. It's a full white with John Wall. <sighs> John Wall, man. Come on. You've got to hit that. And uh, we've left Derek Rose wide open. It's a moving three, though. So that is obviously a uh, much tougher shot to take. We're going to come down here. Who are we going to find in the corner? This guy is pretty decent with his rotations, but he's left us open for the mid-range. Tracy McGrady, he is going to knock that one down. I'll tell you guys, the servers have just turned into absolute mush. They have deteriorated. We've read that like an absolute book. Over to John Wall. We'll feed him a little bit on that one. He gets the slam, and he gets the uh, takeover, playmaking takeover. Very nice indeed. So we know that guy is going to do that cross-court pass every time. So we need to just keep on reading it. We're up by eight going into the final and fourth quarter. All right, fourth quarter time is here. This guy is off-balling. We've got the takeover with John Wall, and he goes straight to the rim. That 99 speed is uh, pretty damn deadly. Is he going to do a cross-court pass here? He's not. We need to make sure we're back with Hakeem. Did expect him to pass out of that one, but he's gone straight to the rim. So we took a couple of timeouts, got him a little bit of stamina. He is a little bit tired. Look at the speed all the way to the rim, and he's going to go with a ferocious slam right there. If this guy wants a rim run against me, I am happily going to do the same against him. As long as we get back on the defensive end, John Wall with the near, very, very near steal right there. Sadly, that didn't come off. He's going to go back to JR. I was controlling John Wall there. I was a little bit slow. Thankfully, we got let off. We're going to go up into the sky for Giannis to get it and put it back down. And that puts us up by 11. And uh, this fourth quarter, hopefully, we can go into a very commanding position. That's not going to happen by leaving him open. But the moving three is not an effective way to get your buckets in this game. Don't take that one. Go outside or back inside, sorry, to Hakeem. You get stopped from behind. But as soon as you've got that positioning inside, 
If you're in front of the uh, defender, chances are they are going to foul you and it sends us back to the line. Sadly, not going to count as an assist for John Wall. He's passed to quite a few people who have actually got hacked and gone to the line. Um, so he's still only on the five assists, but I'd say he's probably got about 10 realistically. Hakeem with the defensive possession right there into John Wall, up to Giannis. We've missed another one over a uh, Galaxy Opal. Uh, who is it? Galaxy Opal KD. We've missed the second uh, alley oop. That sucks. Oh, we just can't get one to go. If we didn't come up against someone with Galaxy Opal KD, we'd have had some mad highlights in this one. But sadly, uh, it is not to be. We'll dance around the screen a little bit right here. It hasn't worked, but it has got Hakeem wide open for the mid range, and he is finally going to catch. A green light. So the shooting is slowly, slowly, slowly coming back to us. Again, that trail cheese. That trail cheese is unbelievable. There is just, you've got to control every single player back on the defensive end if you want to stop that. Hakeem with a monstrous screen. Sadly, we are still a little bit uh, contested on that. But Giannis comes in and cleans up for us. And he gets a steal. No, he doesn't. Don't worry. John Wall gets a steal instead. Inside to Giannis. Probably should have taken that one straight up, but it doesn't matter. That's another assist for John Wall. Now, if this guy was playing on ball, we'd probably actually be able to uh, break him down and get some nice threes going. That's an open three. It's white, and John Wall is going to hit that one down. Good lad. He does have his Gatorade symbol. Obviously, he's a little bit tired. We've read that one like a book. Haven't been uh, rewarded for it, though, which sucks. Uh, yeah, he does have his Gatorade symbol. That is fantastic defense. Sadly, we are in no position for the board, but I don't know what he's just done there. I do not know what he has just done there. We're going to snatch that one back. He's expected it. Thankfully, we have got lucky and been bailed out of that one. John Wall for three. Green light from John Wall. There we go. 27 points. 19 in this fourth quarter. Up by 20. And this guy wants no more part in it. 6-0 and oh in Unlimited. Let's get it. John Wall with a pretty solid game, to be fair. I don't think he's a bad card at all. Am I going to use him over my pink diamond Westbrook? Hmm. I don't know. Am I going to use him over my pink diamond Jeremy Lin? Now, that is a thing. I might actually do that, to be fair, because he did. Just, he just feels so quick. His speed is ridiculous. So, to be fair, he could become my second string point guard. Uh, so, if we have a look over here, I think I probably could run this, but I'd probably run it with Westbrook starting and then John Wall off the bench. Like I said, I do have my uh, pink diamond Bron, who will be sold. And then pink diamond Jeremy Lin... John Wall has a post-game, pretty irrelevant. John Wall's got the dunking. John Wall's got the defensive stats, apart from interior. Uh, and then speed and athleticism go to John Wall as well. And he does have more Hall of Fame badges as well. So John Wall, very, very good card. Would I recommend him for 50k? I don't think you can go too far wrong with him. So that's going to be it for the second video of the day. Be sure to come back in a little while for the third one. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.